Welcome to episode one of the Automation Minute Flashback, brought to you by InsightsInAutomation.com. I'm Sean Tierney, your host, and today we begin a brand new flashback series to highlight some of my popular automation how-to videos from the past. In this, the first flashback series, we're featuring videos demonstrating how to use RS View Studio and RS Links Enterprise. While the user interface for these products have changed some since these videos were first recorded, the videos are still very useful in getting to know how to use even the most recent release of View Studio and Lynx Enterprise. With that said, let's get started with our first flashback video detailing the communication options of View Studio. When you first open up RSU Studio and open or create an application, you'll notice the Application Explorer on the left hand side. The very first item of the Application Explorer is the name of your project. Now in versions 3.0 through 3.2, the very next item will be RS Lynx Enterprise, assuming you installed it. You'll need to install it if you're going to use a PanelView Plus or VersaView CE. Not only is it the preferred driver for Allen Bradley processors, but it's also required just to upload and download your application to the PanelView Plus and VersaView CE as well. Now if you plan on using a non-Allen Bradley processor, there are OPC drivers available. Some come with Machine Edition some you can buy separately and to add those you just right click on your project name select new data server and select OPC in this case in this tutorial we'll assume you're using a PanelView Plus and you're using an Allen Bradley processor so we'll expand our sync enterprise and double click on the communication setup icon because this is a brand new application you'll see I have three choices create a new configuration copy an existing or copy a configuration that's currently running. Typically you want to create a brand new configuration. And that will bring up the RS Lynx Enterprise Communication Setup window. This is where you'll configure your PLCs so that they can communicate to your PanelV Plus and so that you can also test out your screens and your application on your development station. Well, that's it for today's episode of the Automation Minute Flashback. If you'd like to know how to get my complete PanelView Plus training course when it's available, click on the link in this video's description or visit theautomationschool.com. And for more automation how-to videos, check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash insights in automation or visit our video website at theautomationminute.com.